Ted Cruz's dad, Rafael Cruz, sat down with Pat Robertson and continued his creepy fundamentalist talking points tour. What do you see the, the parallels between the United States and Cuba if you wanted to warn people? You've written a book and you said it's the time for action. What action should we be taking now? Well, you know, uh, we are where we are primarily because the church has been silent. Mm -hmm. For too many years, the church has believed this lie of separation of church and state mm -hmm. that is neither in the Constitution nor in the Declaration. 1962, when prayer was taken out of schools, the church remained silent. Mm -hmm. When the Bible was taken out of school a year later, in 1963, the church remained silent. Their excuse is a political issue. How can you call prayer a political issue? How mm -hmm. can you call Bible study a political issue? But that's what the church did. The consequence of that, teen pregnancy skyrocketed after 1963, as so did violent crime. Ten years later, mm -hmm. when abortion was legalized, the church again remain silent. Same excuse. It's a political issue. Well, you know, we have what we deserve. June 26, when we had this decision against traditional marriage by mm -hmm. the Supreme Court, yeah. I'll tell you, this has been a wake-up call. How long are we going to remain silent? What do you see the future of America right now as it well, stands? I am very encouraged, Pat. I am very encouraged because precisely that decision on June 26, I think the devil overplayed his hand. Gay marriage is the devil overplaying his hand. Or it's people who give a shit about equality and justice and rights winning. It's people saying, hey, if you're not hurting anybody else, you should really be able to do whatever you want. We're talking about consenting adults here. Now, these guys are amazing. And with Rafael Cruz, you know, you can make the argument, ah, eh, you know, he meant metaphorically the devil won, and in his mind the devil are liberals. I don't know how much of a defense that is. But for him, it might be the case that it's literal. Like, he thinks, mwahaha, the devil with his horns and his tail and his fucking pitchfork. The devil overplayed his hand on gay marriage. Like, the devil is quite literally like, okay, I, I want gay people to get married. How can we, how can we work this out? Number one, the devil doesn't exist. Number two, if the devil existed, he wouldn't push for lovely things like gay marriage. He would push for, I don't know, more malaria and cancer and natural disasters? Death? No, these guys, their thinking is so warped because Pat Robertson and Rafael Cruz, they're legit fundamentalists. So they're totally brainwashed. They believe in their own Harry Potter nonsense. And it shows with every single thing that they say here. So, I, I like how, in Rafael Cruz's mind, the church in America has just been silent, that's the problem. Is that they've always laid down and said, Liberals, you do whatever you want. The fuck are you talking about? We have many, unfortunately, many politicians who are out-and-out -out theocrats. Uh, we have people with tremendous followings in the U.S. who are evangelical Christians, fundamentalists. You're on one of the shows right now, okay? Granted, it's all super old people. But Pat Robertson, people forgot, he almost became president. I think it was in the 1970s or the 80s, I don't remember. I think it was the 80s. Um, the moral majority, they called it. Jerry Falwell, John Hagee, all these different characters. Rick Santorum was an elected official. Uh, Mike Huckabee almost won, almost beat Mitt Romney not that long ago. Uh, well, not almost. I mean, he was pretty significantly behind. But these guys are guys who have won states. They won, win Iowa, for example. Ted Cruz now, your fucking son, just won Iowa. I mean, there's a significant 25% chunk of the country that's super evangelical, super fundamentalist, and that's a conservative number, 25%. Uh, and oh, they want all the things you want. Christianity down everybody's throats, no abortion, you name it. Whatever your, uh, your Christian issue is du jour, they're on top of that. So they haven't been silent, and they don't even understand the Constitution. Like he said there, oh, the lie of separation of church and state. We just fucking went through it, man. I'm, you're going to make me go back to it right now and tell you exactly what they said. Okay, the first line of the First Amendment. Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion. That's a separation of church and state. The first line of the First Amendment. Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion. No state religion. And then Thomas Jefferson literally said, we should, quote, build a wall of separation between church and state. What part of that is not clear? All right, and then, 
you get, of course, the ridiculous comments with no correlation whatsoever, but you slap them together because you're a dunce, where Rafael Cruz goes, you know, hey, we took prayer out of school. Teen pregnancy went up. Nailed it. <laughs> what the fuck are you saying? Yeah, I'm sure there's a direct link there. You took prayer out of school. Then there was more crime. Let me tell you. There's no link between those things in any way, shape, or form. You want to know the best way to, pre to pre prevent teen pregnancy? Um, I don't know. Contraception? Sex education? Free clinics? Planned Parenthood? <laughs> the pill? No, 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 that's not an answer. Except it works for the thing that you say you want to reduce, but that's not an answer because I just want people to stop fucking. Well, what a wonderful plan. I'm sure that'll work. Hey, you, stop being horny and having sex. Love Jesus. God will save everything. Okay, that's just not the case. So, uh, there you have it, man. As he's calling for theocracy, he's like, these things aren't even political issues. It's, it, to him, it's an of course. Like, of course the church should run the government. Obviously. Again, you'd fit in better in Iran or Saudi Arabia. He literally said prayer in school, this isn't a political issue. Of course it's a political issue! It's public schools, government schools, it's our tax dollars funding it. To have our tax dollars fund prayer in school, you are establishing a religion. You are saying, what kind of prayer are we going to do? I'm sure you're in favor of doing a Hindu prayer, a Muslim prayer, a Christian prayer, and all kinds of different prayers, right? No, you're not. You want fucking Christian prayer. That is establishing a religion. It's tax dollars funding a specific religion over other religions. The most wildly unconstitutional thing you can imagine. But in Rafael Cruz's mind, that's an of course. Of course the church should run the government. I mean, this isn't even a political issue. My religion should dominate you, and you need to shut the fuck up about it.